A new report from an international team of virus experts say they have found genetic data from a market in Wuhan, China, linking COVID-19 with raccoon dogs for sale there. Now, the World Health Organization is responding to the latest information about the possible origins of the deadly virus, and the CBC's Natalie Collada is working on the story and joins me now. So, Natalie, what is the WHO saying about this? So, Andrew, the latest theory appearing in a few places, including the Atlantic and the New York Times, and of course, it was addressed today by the WHO, the World Health Organization. Now, the report suggests this week that an international team of virus experts say they have found genetic data from that Wuhan wet market. This is the wet market that so many of us have been talking about for years now. And they say that the data they found links the coronavirus with raccoon dogs for sale in that market sold in what is believed to be an illegal trade of wildlife. Now, what are raccoon dogs? Well, you see them on your screen right now. They are fluffy animals. They are related to foxes. They kind of look, they have similar coloring to the raccoons we see in Canada, but they are taller. They do look different um, and they are different. And if they, the, the issue here is that the WHO says researchers were looking for samples and they found samples from this wet market that point to this theory. But these samples were taken after the market was shut down, when the animals had already been removed. So officials from the WHO say they don't have information on the animals themselves, nor do they have information on the status of those animals. Now, an epidemiologist say and told uh, information uh, at the news conference today that they really need more information here to make any kind of a definitive decision. Have a listen. What the data uh, showed, the results showed that was presented to us was that there's molecular evidence of animals in the market and those animals included raccoon dogs as well as another a number of other animal species. So again, more information needs to be made available on the data itself and accessible to others around the world, but also that the analysis with that data needs to be shared so that a discussion and a debate um, can be had to understand its full implications. So, Andrew, three years and counting, the origins of COVID-19 still have yet to be 100% determined. Natalie, thank you. The CBC's Natalie Collada.